So I'm actually off to see if China would allow me in their country. It's an important one because this is probably one of the highlights of my career. One of the craziest things I've ever done in my career. Hello. With craziest things I've ever done in my career, I mean specifically my career, not um, my personal life. But, ah, you know what I mean. It's gonna be a bit tricky this week. I need to go to the Chinese embassy for my visa. I'm gonna see if they allow me in their country after everything I've said about the Chinese. That's an important one to get in that country because I'll tell you in a bit. Andrew is waiting, it's 8.25 in the morning. You ready? I am always ready. Look who's there, look who's there. Back. Back. <laughs> yeah, back. Uh, bit, uh, <laughs> uh, how are you, mate? I'm good, bro. Are you? Doing well, doing well. Look at that. Junior's been picked up properly. <laughs> Southern Grove, no bothers on. And unfortunately, that's not my lift. That's the lift of the Junior. Because I have to go and race and see the Chinese Embassy and pick up a $250,000 watch. That's not bad, is it? No bother, son. Look at that, everything is in. British military green wrap. British military green. Right, give me a kiss. Love you. Love you. And good luck. Right, I'll see you later on. All right, bro. Yeah, yeah. have fun. <laughs> Plenty of stores. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right, good wish good. me good luck with the Chinese. Wish you good luck with the Chinese, mate. Good luck. Oh, to good, the good, right? Bye. Right, that's me off. That's them picked up by Andrew at the airport that's amazing due to the fact i've been traveling so much i now try to bring them as much as i can but i'm not bringing them to <laughs> to central london that's pointless um there's a lot of stuff i need to do today i need to go to richard meal i need to pick up a watch i need to go and get my visa sorted for china and when that is sorted that is all that is all time restrained I need to go and be at an auction um, close to Virginia Waters. Uh, it's Concord the Elegance, or I think it's that. It's called that. So <laughs> it's mad. Do you guys need a hand? I'm more. I, I know how it feels, mate. I know how it feels. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Two kids. That's me soon. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that's amazing. I know how hard it can be like traveling with, like with a kid. I'm not, they're traveling with two kids and a lot of suitcases. And I have been traveling with Junior. And in about three months, four months, my second child will be born. So I'll be traveling with two kids as well. It's gonna be absolute carnage. Richard Mill opens at 10 and it's currently 8.39. And I need to be at the embassy at 11. Now, Richard Mill, and the Chinese embassy are 18 minutes travel. So in theory, I should make this, but London wouldn't be London if it wasn't London. That doesn't make any sense. I need to be there at 10 o'clock sharp at Richard Mille, pick up the watch and immediately lead um, to the embassy. I can't wait to tell you guys about China, mate. <laughs> it is the bollocks. Absolute chaos here. Look at that, and that's mine. There you go. Look at that, that's us now. Let's make this happen. How are you, sir? What's your name? Georgie. Georgie, where are you from? Bulgaria, you? Bulgaria. I am originally from the Netherlands, but I've been living most of my life in Belfast. Belfast. So that's not too bad. It's quarter to nine. What time is our destination? What's our destination time? One hour. Arrival time, sorry. One hour, at least. One hour, so quarter to 10. That would be good. That makes that could actually be a smooth ride for once. Yeah, yeah, Georgie, yeah. how is it possible that you, we, you, I have been in your car before. Yes. That is funny, that is very funny. That is cool, that's amazing. London is a small city, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and too many fucking Bulgarians. <laughs> uh, too many Bulgarians and not many Uber drivers. So it's, uh, it's oh, good crack. Many. Big, big news today anyway, because my first ever column has landed, has landed on everyone's doorstep in Oracle time. 
I'm very, very proud of that. Oracle, um, Oracle Time has given me an absolute incredible platform and they allowed me to be extremely honest and give my absolute unfiltered opinion about the state of the industry. And I'm really, really grateful for that. So um, I'll put a link in the description somewhere where you can find uh, the article um, and you can become a member and you don't miss any of the um of the columns there's 10 columns i believe um this year so that that's that's magic mate that's magic and now we're three minutes away from destination and it is 9 40 meaning that i have 20 minutes to wait which is fine around this part of the world because i'll go out for a cup of coffee or see maybe danny one of my colleagues here in london and yeah have some fun Thank you, buddy. And my bag is on the yeah, other side, but I'll grab that in a sec. Let me put this on first. Let me put this on first. Look at that, poodles. All sorts of watch stores here. Old Bond Street, the watch, yeah. the watch capital of London. Also, I can only piece of it. At least you're safe. Yeah. At least you're safe. Yeah. Let me check if I have a, a thingy. They do all sorts of formal formal wear as well. In concours <laughs> at the at the event where I am. There it is. Fantastic. Right, Georgie. Have a nice day and good luck. Thank you very Thank much, you. mate. You too. Have a lovely day. Thank Hope you. you make a lot of money, mate. <laughs> Hopefully. What a guy, what a guy, what a guy. Right. It is quarter quarter to ten. Let's get some Let's get a coffee somewhere. Let's do that first. <laughs> For those who are visiting London or never been in London or going to London, Bond Street. That's where you can find some nice watches. Look at that. People are talking about this being the new Swatch collaboration, Blanpain. That could be interesting. That could be interesting. Look at that. Just a research mail, but it's funny. I just wanted to go through this application process for a visa, right? <laughs> and all the baddest questions of past travel. But also, what is your education? And my education <laughs> never finished school. <laughs> That's mad. Right, one minute. Just visited Richard Mail or just picked up a Richard Mail. I'm not gonna show you it. No, I'm gonna show you when I'm in the car, but it's a belter. Amazing, amazing, look at that. Just just back from Richard Mail. I uh, just picked up a watch from a good friend of mine. Um, right, let me give him a call with the good news. Look at this belter, R30 Ultimate. Hello, sir. Hello, hello. Hello, look what I got for you. Whoa, do you see it? Let's go. No bother. Finally, man. Finally. Right. So I spoke with Richard Mill, right? The next time you're in London, you need to meet up and, and basically build a bit of a relationship with them, right? The watches are all good. Yeah. It's serviced. It's done. It's perfect. And uh, yeah, very good. Very good. Okay. I'm excited. Yeah? Yeah. So, Finally, the watch works as intended, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Buys a 300 gram watch, doesn't fucking work. <laughs> I know. And, uh, uh, I, 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 was, I was pissed. I was pissed. That's yeah. all I gotta say. Uh, as you should. As you should. Right. Ibi bought, um, Ibi bought this watch from some dodgy bastard in Dubai or whatever the fuck. Where was it? Yeah, in Dubai. In Dubai. And there was all sorts of problems with this watch. So I said, you know what? Give it to me. I'll bring it. I'm, I'm quite often in London. I'll bring it to Richard Mail and get it done properly. And I said eight months, but they were actually quite quick. Three months, I think. Yeah, I think it, was, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad, but you'll have the watch back soon. You'll have the watch back okay. soon. So that's amazing. Happy days. So this is the thing when you buy very very expensive watches you need to make sure that you're doing everything right and the you check out the seller and whatever it be uh if he's a great lad fantastic guy funny as fuck and when he was in dubai he just wanted to buy a watch and 
as he did, he just bought every shot meal, but <sighs> there were some problems with that. So uh, I'm, I'm happy that I've been able to help him with that. And then on the back of that, I wanted to uh, make sure that he builds a relationship with Richard Mill, doing it the right way. Now you can say and argue, I can sell him watches, which I can and I do, uh, but certain brands should always, in my opinion, certain brands should always go through um, authorized channels. And Richard Mill for me is one of them. So that's why it's very important. On our way now to the Chinese consulate for my visa. Uh, how are you, mate? You well? You well? What's your name again? Me. Yes. Purpose. Lovely to meet you. Where are you from? Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Yeah. I had a good friend of mine who was from Afghanistan. Yeah, nice. yeah. his name was uh, Hadi Hassanpur. Hadi okay. <laughs> <laughs> I always made fun of him. <laughs> He's a good lad. Legend. Right, and we're actually on time because what is the arrival time? Uh, 24 minutes. So two minutes to 11? Yeah. Fantastic. 11 o'clock appointment, Chinese consulate. Let's go. Right, arrival time is seven minutes past 11. That is gonna be a problem. I need to be there at 11. Appointment is at 11. Hopefully they will still accept me. By the way, I just need to make sure that they allow me in the country first, but <laughs> that would be amazing. But seven minutes past 11 now, but he's gonna make some miracles. He's gonna fucking let his BMW fly. And then uh, hopefully we'll make it. Yo, could you check or give them a call and say that I'm I'm seven minutes late now for that appointment? Okay, I'm gonna call them now. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. I am nervous as fuck. Late for a visa appointment? Not good. Arrival in three minutes. Look at that. I'm being instructed properly. I need to be nice to them. As if I'm never nice to people. Come on. <laughs> we'll make it happen. China, let me in. Please let me in. We're nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. Look at that. We are late though. Let's get a visa sorted. Thank you, mate. Thank lovely you. to meet you. Have a lovely day. Right, this is a bit mad because uh, I just left the visa uh, thing. I made it and I have a number, but um, I'm missing documents, my EU settlement document and a copy of my passport and um, the invitation. I actually need that printed. 45 minutes to find a fucking printer. <laughs> this is the bollocks. Look at me, like a criminal. There we go. Printing everything out, no bother. These guys print stuff out. That is amazing. Right. It's 11.31, I got in at 11.10, and she said it was about a 45 minute wait. Now I have everything, so 11.10 means 11.55. There you go, it means I have 20 minutes. Everything just has fallen rightfully in place. I like it. Holy f it is. <laughs> Five plus one, two hours, over two hours. That was intense, but everything, everything is sorted. Not sure if I'm being accepted or I'm being allowed in the country, but we'll see that Wednesday. I have to stay in London because I don't have any identification other than my passport and the Chinese have my passport. <laughs> Mad. And I need to raise the Hampton Court to be honest, so let's get the shit on the road. Right, let's talk about the visa process. Actually, the people in the consulate or in this application center are ridiculously friendly. That's a good one. That is a good one. Um, so that's amazing, but Jesus, the time that it takes is the bollocks. Right, I was supposed to. Um, I was supposed to be here at 11. I was a bit late, but luckily there was a big queue, so I checked in at 10 past 11. So everything was all right, and then the process started. You have to queue up, right? You have to queue up, um, um, and luckily, 
it's not luckily I forgot doc forgot to bring documents or forgot to copy documents um, so luckily the queue was 45 minutes so I had time to copy the documents and uh, print out some other documents which was good which was around the corner but then you come back waited waited for about 20 minutes then you're there and ask answering some questions all good lovely lady and all good then you need to pay a complete different desk right a complete different desk to pay for uh, the visa and that was another 45 minute wait so there should be a more efficient way for this and funny enough this is the first time in my life i ever needed a visa for anything so i'm actually curious if this would be exactly the same if people are from the other side of the world and coming into the uk or coming into europe this was very not efficient for i think a country china that is very efficient right so i was a bit uh, <laughs> i was a bit stunned by that but um we're, we're actually relatively on time still, quarter past one now, and I need to be before three o'clock at Hampton Court at Concours of Elegance. So that should be all right, that should be all right. Um, but let me, do, let me, right, let me tell you the story why I actually need to go to China, because that is the bollocks. The funny bit is, uh, I kept the education column empty. And she was like, well, what is that? <laughs> you basically need to register your education and your past travels and all sorts of things. But the educational bit was funny. She's like, no school. I was like, no. <laughs> that was quite funny. But uh, yeah, China, let's see if you accept me in your country. By the way, nice Uber driver. What's your name? Houdin. Houdin, how are you? Where are you from? Bangladesh. Bangladesh. I've never been to Bangladesh. Next to China. Next to China. I was quite close. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> How long have you lived there? Here, 42 years. Oh, 42 years. So yeah. there weren't difficult visa processes then, no? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, let's get moving. I need to do a lot of work. I actually need to drop a new video. And today, like I mentioned before, my first ever column in Oracle Time dropped bit of a bombshell and hopefully um, hopefully you guys uh, hopefully you guys agree I think you will um, so uh, there's a link somewhere in the description where you can see that and now I need to drop a video and I am terrible at making thumbnails um, both my editors are somewhere else so that's gonna be a problem and I need to write a description so challenging cool watch brand you have never heard of um, I need to do a lot of things myself here at the moment um, I have no idea how that works and yes I am gonna talk about China I am gonna talk about what I'm gonna do in China because that is the bollocks but bear with me I need to do this first look at that we've landed fantastic look at that I made it and it is 1450 that's quite some timing. I've just been rushing from fucking 5 a.m. It's an absolute joke and I wanna look at these cars but I have no time. The weather though, the weather is amazing. At least that. Look who I came across, hey, hey. stranger. What's going on, man? Here. I've escaped you for all of three days and now we're back at it. Did China let you in? I don't know yet, yet. I don't know I yet. I but I have, I've said some no, I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> so some off-brand things. Exactly. Here, talk to me about this car because I haven't wrecked this car yet. When am when, when I get the opportunity well, to do so? I've reserved a seat for you. It's called the passenger seat. No, no, you no. You can stay there. No, 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 yeah, no, no. You can stay on no, this confirm side. American rule. <laughs> I sit there with a steering wheel. Right? No, no, no. All kinds of things go wrong when you're behind the wheel. So I reckon I'll I'll take you for a drive and I'll keep my car and my windscreen in one. Yeah, ah, oh, fantastic. Right. We're getting the windscreen yeah. bollocks debacle again. You know he replaced the windscreen. Yeah. How much did it cost? Take a guess. Was it under insurance? I don't know, but take a guess. Twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. Five hundred dollars. Oh, really? Bargain. So I said, give me your bank details. Trey, give me your bank. 
Trey, I'm still waiting for your bank. He said, no, 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 no. You swap me out with tickets for everyone. I'm like, yeah, fair play. They're okay. five grand. That's, so. a, good, that's, that's, a, good a, that's deal. a deal. Cracking deal. That is a cracking deal. Bargain, man. All right, fair enough, fair yeah. enough. But no, it's great to have this down here. So this is this is effectively my daily driver. Yeah. And I've had it for four years. I originally bought it from uh, Sir Chris Hoy, actually, oh. which is cool. And uh, bought it from Chris because I was dying for a, a manual GT3 experience. He was swapping out of this into a, a GT3 RS. I've almost put 60,000 miles on it. And it's had three different paint jobs in that time because Logic's paint, which it's sprayed in, is a removable paint. So Look at that, it's fantastic. So we version of San Marino Blue. And you made the prods happy yeah. as well, I see. Fantastic. Yeah, we've got a whole new engineer in there. <laughs> I'm the orange man. All of this, dude. Like, all, all, all of this is blue tinted carbon fiber. And Logic do all of this in house. It's so true. So we. It is um, spectacular. Like. We're just really, really honored to have it down here because we're in some serious company down here. And to be able to take the cover off this and share it with the world is super cool. So. Yeah, it's been nice. So I'm just assuming the guy that was just looking at the camera seeing what you were doing. <laughs> that was, that was funny. I that was funny. <laughs> but listen, I just arrived here, right? And I still don't know if China is allowing me in. I still, haven't, in. I still haven't told the audience why I'm going to the <laughs> why I have to go to the Chinese consulate, right? <laughs> But do you think it's worth a wait? Or uh, am I? Because you've been naughty boy. You're naughty boy. They have no. been summoned they have been to the summoned. Chinese consulate. Exactly. But listen. I think it'll be, it'll be worth it. It'll be a special moment. A special, special moment. moment. I'm allowed in China. It, right? It's Aye. good. Yeah. But I, I'm going to try to do DDE Dave's tactic and just on. hold on. I'm t trying to tell why I actually need out. to go to draw it out. It's right? a big deal. It's a big, it's a big deal. deal. A big deal. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. probably the biggest. No, it is the biggest deal of my career. Right. Professional career. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah. So stay tuned on that. But listen, there's one watch brand that's being represented on this concourse, right? Yes. And it's a spectacular watch brand. Don't get me wrong, but I see so many spectacular cars, and the presentation is ridiculously amazing. Have you seen a Long and Serna stand? Well, you barely know it's here. It's kind of blending in. It's to the background, which is a shame because they've got some phenomenal watches. Not on the stand, no. but they've got some phenomenal watches. Yeah. I don't know why they haven't brought the heavy metal down. Funny Not thing. only that, why didn't they actually want to showcase pure passion and their capabilities? It is so, it baffles me. This is the first time I'm ever, ever, I've ever been on this concourse because it's very posh and as you know, <laughs> I'm not very posh, right? I'm trying to behave nowadays and be politically correct. So basically I had a conversation with my agent who doesn't want me to do an interview with Jordan Peterson, but I do, he's coming to Belfast. Okay. So I'm like, you're scaring brands. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's Jordan Peterson, mate. It's but, easy, you, yeah, don't, you don't swear. Exactly, but I called him, I called, I called him a lefty as well, so oh, okay, never mind, great. right? Nice. But A Long and Soon, a spectacular watch brand, right? Absolutely spectacular. But the presentation is below any par I have seen yet. What are the what are their stands like at watch shows? Is it like that? Spectacular. Oh, really? Spectacular. It's odd that they should be diluting the experience. Jezer Le Coutre yeah, yeah. With, with a fountain <laughs> coming from a, from a ceiling, mate. A Seriously? fountain coming out of a ceiling. That's not the case here. It is bizarre. The yeah. most incredible stands. And you know what? The demographic here is pretty serious. Yeah. And they could be representing themselves stronger and I reckon yeah. they get some serious sales here. Yeah, but, I, I would think so too. Yeah. I'm going to go through and show you guys that. Do you want to come with me? I've got to go to the Chubb stand now, but I'll do it afterwards. Oh, what are you doing actually? I'm handing out a trophy to the winner of the Chubb Paddock so, Award. So, Bradley car. Cooper. So, you're you're like the Bradley Cooper from <laughs> Wish.com, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's handing over the trophy. Rent a Cooper, yeah. Rent a Cooper. <laughs> Rent a Cooper. Rent a Cooper. What a guy. Rent a Cooper himself. I'll fill him for you. Kids' parties. Oh, this is it. Yeah. Rent a Cooper. He's here. <laughs> hey, That's mate. fantastic. Jump in, buddy. Yes. Jump in, mate. Yes, I will on, take mate. it for you. Jump in. Legend. Legend. Here you go, buddy. Jump Smile. In. I just watched this through. Look at that. I'm the. How Let's good am I? Kids parties. Let's go. Fantastic. Let's go. Rent the Cooper. He's here, mate. Uh, brilliant. Oh, hey, hello. You? How are you? Uh, we want you to rate our watches. Let me see. Oh, Tudor Black Bay Harrods. Lovely. Seiko oh, 5. Really Seiko. Old school Seiko 5. That is cool. Black Bay Harrods. Well done. What yeah. number is it? Guess. Is it is it below or above 2000? Above. Right. 
that is not important. No! I'm joking. I, uh, I just don't. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry. Do you actually know the number? Yeah. Let's check it out. Yeah. Uh, it is 11,239. Right? Uh, no, 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 fair play. What's your name? Rahul. Rahul, lovely to meet you. What's Amar. your name? Mark? Amar. Amar, Amar, fantastic. I was wondering, uh, I work in the Battersea Power Station, which is a Switzerland. Yeah? The watch, the watch industry. We have a JLC event if you'd like to attend. I would love to event. It's like a little big plaza at the front of the power yeah? station. And then it's like a museum, you'll see lots of uh, JLC. Um, I love, I love JLC, you know. JLC for me. I, I genuinely you laugh. Have you got any uh, Langerans on? There? Yeah, have, yeah? You, no, have you seen that stand? Yeah, I have. Can, can, can you be please honest? What do you think? It's not one of my favorite watch brands, but I can respect it to an extent. No, I'm not talking about watch brands. What do you think of their stand? Oh, the stand. Some cool watches, but not anything I would wear. If that's, if I'm being honest. Can you just be honest? That's the a stand, political answer. The stand <laughs> is and pathetic. And, I, and I'll translate for him. The Suboptimal. Yeah. yeah. For such yeah. an incredible watch brand, that stand is pathetic at best. At best. I mean, yeah. that, Elong and Soda has so much to show for. <laughs> and I've not seen it. Like, I was literally here. I'm, I'm the watch guy. I love watches, right? Above anything else. I walk in. It's a bit of All right, see you later. Yeah. Like, that yeah, was it, man. That was it. That was it. That was it. They didn't, that was... they didn't show you any watches? You didn't even No! One? No! Is it, do they have nice watches or do they just not have it for display? I, I don't think they have them on display because they definitely have them. Like, triple split chronograph, double split chronograph, mate. Like, Soon is the best. Elon and Soon is the best. Just not but they're not fucking showing nothing! Ah. It's brutal. It's really doing my head in, to be fair. Now someone is playing. Fantastic. There's actually people with a talent. Um, and it's not really him or me. Ah, he does have a talent. Yeah, he does have a talent. The best Bradley Cooper impressionist. Impressionist? Impressionist? Impressionist. I can't even say in my the words. world. Impressionist? Yes. This side of Surrey. Right, let's talk about China, right? Very. <laughs> right, let's talk. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do in China. Bear with me. What are you so wearing, Adam? Like what are you wearing? Sunglasses. What would you have? What would you have? What would you have? Show me your watch. When are you buying a sub? When you can find me one, big boy. I found you one. You? Cheap. Yeah, cheap. Cheap, Excellent. cheap, cheap. But look at this watch. Can I see your watch? I don't want to be on camera. Though. No, no. But I just show your watch. Luckily, like genuinely, you're not on it, but your watch is fantastic. Okay. So that is unbelievable. When are you buying a when are you buying sub? When you show it to me. Are you zooming in on me? No. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh look at you. You're wearing the best watch of the day. Show me your watch. God tear mate, God tear, no ballers on. Absolute legend. What are you wearing? I'm now I haven't been wearing this all day. No? I'm gonna look how it's all out. What's the time? Do you wanna wear the Richard Mill, the other one? Yeah. Yeah? If it's still in my bag. It should be, otherwise this is a very expensive day in the office. Yeah. yeah. If it's still in my bag, it's yours. Alright. Done. Thanks. We're then RM buddies. What time is it? Is that right? Uh, yeah, I said the time alright. So it is for something. <laughs> Said the watch expert. Said the watch expert. What's going on here? James! 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 Help! 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 Switch! Here! Get that piece of shit away! Fuck up! See ya! Run, Forrest! Run! Bradley Cooper! Oh, Jesus! Wish.com! James, one second. You know what just happened? What just happened? You see that stand there, right? The so that is that is a, stand. that is a long and soon, right? Here. So I thought it was the other stand that was shit, right? Okay. How to ruin your brand in five seconds? Go on, why? What's going There's on? There's people trying to get in to see some watches. Yeah. They just refused them. It's like, oh, go. So and I'm like, I walked in first. Yeah. Oh no, no, sorry, it's private. And I'm like, what? Why are we here to to experience these things? Hey, what? Private? What? It's, a it's like, it's a little bit and awkward. then and I was like, ah, it's maybe just me or whatever. 
Yeah. Other people, uh, three people just walking in, is like, trying to walk in. So no, 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 you can't go in. And I'm like, bro. It's all awkwardly pretentious. No, it's not pretentious. It's how to ruin your <laughs> brand in less than five minutes. Like, this is not what Elon and Sony stands for. This is just really so when badly you're, when managed. You go, when you go on one of their stands at a watch show, is it just open? And you can yeah, it's and open. You can it's go open. And speak yeah. to everyone. Everything's fine. Yeah. I don't know why they've got that. that this sort of is the oh, wow. I have not experienced that before. Shall we? Ch whenever you're no. finished, we need to try it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. End of the day. Cordy Elegance. This is a new uh, Opal uh, Foxhole convertible. Look at that. Fantastic. Like this is this is quite cool. Like, what a beautiful place. Look at that. Amazing. And then we made it back to AGS House. No bother, son. No bother. And then Junior sleeping. No bother, son. <laughs> Fantastic. Andrew, thank you so much for having us. Alicia, thank you so much for taking care of us. My love, thank you for sticking with me. <laughs> John, fuck off. <laughs> Cutting off and out. Honestly, I will talk about what I'm going to do in China. It is the biggest move of my career. It is the biggest thing I've done yet. And I've not done big things, but this one is. And I'm really, really proud. So uh, I can't wait to share this with you guys. Now it's just fingers crossed and hope China allows me in the country because when they do, I just want to say shit hits the fan, but I hope the Chinese government doesn't see this before I enter the country. But no, it's going to be special. It's going to be special.